Hi everyone, it's Justine. Welcome back on my channel. Some time ago, I did a video about the fast fashion trap and how to get out of it. In that video, I mentioned the concept of capsule wardrobe. And since then, I've been getting questions about what it is, how it works, etc. Therefore, this year is meant to be a comprehensive video about the capsule wardrobe principle. Why you would want to do such a thing how you plan and structure, how you sort your existing closet, who's done it before, which YouTubers to look at for inspiration. I weigh in with my own opinion, of course. I answer questions that I know will come up as soon as you start working on your capsule. And I will end with a ton of resources for further readings and research in case you guys are interested and want to build a capsule wardrobe as well. Now let's start. What is a capsule wardrobe? Why make one? The principle is to declutter your closet, find out that you do not wear most of the stuff that's in it. You want to find your own style, you want to end up with a minimalized closet that only contains stuff that you really, really love and that you could wear every single day of the year. Very easy. The rule of thumb is to go down to about 36 items in your closet. Some will say 33, others will say 37. It doesn't really matter, it's just about sizing down, really. In the 1930s, a woman had, on average, 36 pieces of clothing in her closet. Nowadays, it's above 120. So the principle of the capsule wardrobe is really to forget about quantity, go back to quality and own only things that you really, really like to wear. By the way, in a capsule, underwear doesn't count, it's extra. Also, a capsule will be for one specific season, winter or summer, because your needs and the proportions within your closet will vary depending on which season you're in. So the capsule you're building is really for one or the other season. Now, how to build that capsule? Sort what you own already. To start, take out everything that's in your closet, put it onto your bed. Then look at each piece of clothing that you own one by one and decide. You have three piles to make. The first pile is stuff that you could wear every single day, that you love, your basics, your uniform. That's pile one. Pile two is the stuff that you really do like to wear, just not in this season. That's the seasonal wear. Keep it for the other season. That's pile two. Pile three is the stuff that you haven't been wearing at least in a year, maybe two. You still own it, but really you don't wear it. That's pile three. Once you have your three piles, take pile one, the stuff that you really like to wear and feel good in, and put it straight back into your closet. Those pieces are golden. Pile two is your seasonal stuff. Put it in bags, storage, look at it again in six months. The third pile, don't keep it. You can sell it, you can give it to family and friends, you can donate it to charity. You have plenty of options, you'll make other people happy. They'll wear that stuff more than you're doing. Now, go back to your closet, look at what's in it. That is your style. That's what you really wear. And so that's the stuff you will beat your capsule around. Right there, you're seeing, do I have a more casual or a more formal look? What are my colors? What are my shapes, my silhouettes, the materials that I like? Everything should be extended to the entire capsule because obviously that works for you. What you also see is what's missing. You might find that you have plenty of tops but not enough bottoms you really feel good in. So now comes the planning step where you fill in the gaps by finding out which pieces you're missing, like precisely. Figure out what's missing and plan your capsule. You need to pay attention to the proportions between the amount of tops, the amount of bottoms, etc. And you need to think in terms of layers because you're gonna wear each piece on top of others or under others. So each piece should be endlessly combinable with the rest of your closet. I found three YouTubers who have capsule wardrobes and who have done good videos about that topic. Good because they show each piece very well so you can really see what they're talking about and they name the brands. So it's good for inspiration purposes. I link the videos down below. I encourage you to watch them. What I specifically looked at in those videos are the proportions. Audrey Coyne, first example, built a winter capsule of 31 items, shoes excluded. 
Jen Rogers also built a winter capsule. She came down to 34 items, including the shoes. Coco from the channel Light by Coco built a summer capsule because I wanted to include a different example in here. She's fine with 20 items. Those three ladies have different styles and each of the three capsules is completely unique and truly personal. This is to demonstrate that you can show personality and character with just a few items and a consistent color palette. Audrey wears skirts and dresses, so she has more buttons overall. Jen is more the jeans type, most of her buttons are jeans, so she's fine with just nine buttons. Coco, the third one, has a more formal, classy style with pieces that can be combined perfectly. And her capsule is for summer, so she's happy with just 20 pieces. But even for summer, 20 is quite a performance, like that's not a lot. What all three ladies have in common is the perfect balance between casual and more formal stuff they can go out with. Long sleeve versus short sleeves shirts versus t-shirts, so they combine everything. They're not missing any type of clothing in their capsules. For instance, for the sweaters, they mix turtlenecks, v-necks, cardigans that are open at the front, so you can see the layer underneath. And even for the bottoms, they have different length and different materials. So those three are really good benchmarks. Once you've got your capsule planned, let's move on to the next step. Your new and improved shopping behavior. Once you have found out what your new closet is missing, go buy those pieces, but this time you know exactly what you're looking for. And this point changes everything. After completing your capsule, set a no shopping rule for yourself for at least one month. That's your trial period. After that, if there's something that you have been missing madly every single day of the month, well, that's fine. Just go and buy it. It will complete your wardrobe. The idea is to size down and find out your style. Doing a capsule shouldn't be a punishment, right? And that's it, you're done. Next time you will question your closet again will be in six months, when you move on from winter to summer or from summer to winter. The proportions will vary, but the method really will stay the same. I can hear questions already. What about ceremony clothing? For instance, you're a woman living in India, half of your closet is made of saris that you wear at weddings. What do you do? Well, ceremony clothing, festive clothing does not count in your 36 items. Underwear, athletic wear, bags and accessories do not count either. As for the shoes, it depends on who's talking about it. Some count the shoes in, some others don't. What if you can't go down to 36? Well, that's okay. The exercise can still be beneficial to you as long as you size down and as long as you question each item, each piece of clothing, to be sure that you really like wearing it. And then if you end up with 50 that you really like, it's fine too. Who can I look at to find inspiration for my own capsule wardrobe? On top of the three ladies I already mentioned, look for Anna Edits, My Green Closet, Mademoiselle, who, by the way, gave up doing capsules and explains why in a video. Look at the blog called Unfancy, and there you'll find a workbook to help you plan and structure your capsule. Look at Cladwell. Of course, I'll be putting the links down below, all of them. How can you subscribe to my channel? <laughs> Click on my head right here. And if you're still watching, give this video a big thumb up. Thank you so much. Here's my video from last week. Here's another one that I mentioned earlier about fast fashion. I see you next Sunday for a new video, and until then, Take care. Bye.